he might need a stoppage to win this fight. Yeah, we could be reading too much into this, but in between rounds, John Manley on the stool the whole time looking gassed. Chazinski standing up the entire time. Does that tell you anything going into round three? Who knows? It could be gamemanship. It could be mm -hmm. I'm, I'm outsmarting you. Yes. I'm making you think I'm not tired, so you're going to have to pour it out in the first half. And we'll see how both fighters approach. Round number three in this welterweight bout. Third and final round of what we think, or at least what we've seen so far, an evenly matched fight through the first two. Now, Chazinski's got enough tiredness on him, too. He's not, he's not full of steam right now. He's going right in for the takedown, which is smart. This is what he needs to do. Keep this fight right here. Exactly. Control Keep the fight against, against, the against the cage. Get your head out That's and stay it. there. If he stays here, more than likely he wins this fight. Yeah. That's just it. Keep your hips in tight here. And he doesn't need to get too crazy here and let Trzinski get back into it with his legs. Right now he's kind of neutralized everything. That's it. He's, he's very dominant. Him. He's got him on his hip. Those legs are not effective right now. This is what he needed to do this whole time. And all he really needs to do is pin that left fist against the cage and punch him with the right hand. So he can't get the leg involved. But this is New England where they care more about grabbing the cage than they do about anything else in fighting. You could possibly shoot somebody and get away with it, but you can't touch the cage once. <laughs> <laughs> I could have used that in my Pettis fight. Yes. <laughs> he was going for a ride. <laughs> 3.55 to go in the third and final round. Manley taking early control to take down. He's got Chazinski pinned against the cage. Not much you can do from this position. And as for Manley, just keep that leverage. And for a brief second there, he did have that right hand or that right arm against the cage. Had a brief opening, but mainly just hasn't been able to get enough into those punches or enough behind those punches to no, do any damage. I mean, he's, damage. he's got him trapped now here. Even if he can, he doesn't have to pull out there. If he can swim his left arm across and he can pull his hip down and flatten him back out again. But he needs to keep this fight right here. And Jason, he needs to get off the cage and bring this fight into, into the middle of the cage. Time's ticking. Time's ticking. It's he true. needs to get his back off the cage. Three minutes to go. Like you said, Alex needs to get that fight back to the middle of the cage and maybe hope for a quick strike somewhere that lands and the, changes the momentum of the fight. The ref's yeah. not going to break them apart. He's no, John's active with the knees. He's active. He's doing enough to keep this fight going. Just barely enough. That's just what it barely. is. It's not trying to win the fight. It's keeping busy. That's just it. Just about coming up on the two and a half minute mark of the third and final round. John Manley in good shape right now. Trzinski always dangerous with that leg movement. We'll see if it plays a factor in the home stretch of this final round. But right now, Manley's in good shape. He's in control. He's landing some knees there. Trzinski is getting some knees to the rib cage okay. area. Not enough behind that, him, though, to maybe do enough damage. I'm surprised. After the, the start of this round, how successful he was with keeping him up against the cage. I'm surprised. He hasn't even attempted a takedown here. Yeah. This is the smartest thing in the world for him to do is to stay here and keep him pinned. Because on the ground, he's got to worry. And he's already worried. He just had a nice double leg, and he's already in jeopardy. Yeah. Interesting turn of events here, Alex. He's going to keep his left knee and, and keep it working towards the cage and pin his hips up against it. Don't give him the opportunity to run his legs up the cage like that. For a second, I thought Jason might have had a chance to flip the script here a bit, but mainly back again on top, like you said, pinned against that cage. Yep. So Jason, if he gets his feet against the cage, could push off and break this. But mainly he's doing a nice job countering just the activity by Jason. He's doing a really good job in this round. Yep. One and a half to go, mainly in control. Doing, it seems, just enough to win the fight. That's it. And more importantly, enough to not lose it. Exactly. This is exactly what he needed to do to come out to win this fight. This has been an equally grueling battle similar to the last fight that we saw with Helliger and Pierre Pieri. So we've seen two very good technical fights from ground game specialists in each of these last two bouts. And we're getting our money's worth here. One minute to go in the third and yep. final round. There's got to be desperation on Jason's behalf. He's getting stalled out. Yep. That's what's happening. Trying some of those moves that you were talking about early, those not that you wanted to call them gimmick moves, but at least something to yeah, kind of send the side. percentage just to get it get it moving, you know. Like, and what what John's doing is he's going to make him do something desperate to get out, and he's going to catch him. He it's, should be using those moves, not for submission attempts, but just to create space to get out. Right, yeah. you, you know, as as John's backing out and kind of let, letting him uh, throw his legs by him, he's got to make an attempt to get back up on his feet. Well, it appears at this point, whatever he does will be too little too late. We've got 20 seconds to go in this fight. 
mainly in control. Trzinski just not doing enough in this round. He spent most of it on his back, pinned against the cage. Very smart approach for Manley as we reach 10 seconds. This will more than likely do it, barring anything unforeseen here in the final seconds. John Manley should Good work on behalf. be able to improve to 6-1 and one at this point, which would be a very impressive record in this circuit against a very tough opponent tonight. And there is the final bell. Great fight, guys. We have a unanimous decision. All three judges, Avery, Paolino, and Asmar, score the bout identically 30 to 27 for your winner in the red corner john manley well john interestingly manley. enough guys a unanimous decision a shutout for john manley ladies and gentlemen we're joined by john manley his professional record now improves to six and one this time not a submission victory this time john you had to work hard for 15 minutes He's a tough kid. I tried to submit him a couple times, but he kept on pushing off the cage, re reversing the position, and you know, I tried. It seemed to be ab about uh, over the course of the three rounds that uh, had a couple of swings and momentum throughout the course of the fight. Yeah, uh, I got him a couple times. Some of his kicks were really hard, kind of rocked me a little bit, but I trained really hard with Team Link and just kept on pushing. Were you uh, surprised at all by the 30 to 27 on all three cards? I think uh, a lot of folks at cage side thought the fight might have been a little bit closer. No, I figured I won every round. I mean, he was tough, but I definitely edged him out a little bit in every round. All right, John Manley, a decision winner here tonight, improves to six and one now. John Manley. Thank you.